A teen armed with only a cell phone may have given Chapel Hill police the break they need in capturing a suspected car burglar. News Channel 5 Shannon Royster joins us now with more on how the evidence is stacked against him. Shannon. Well, police say he smashed vi windows, Jimmy locks and stole everything he could from several vehicles in broad daylight. But little did he know someone was taking cell phone pictures of him. On Sunday afternoon, the parking lot at Forest High School was packed for a football banquet. Parents, uh, coaches, kids, uh, cheerleaders, we were all here celebrating the year. But that celebration and joy soon turned to anger for parents like Angela Baxter. So, you know, you don't expect that in Chapel Hill. You just don't. It's a small town of just under 2,000 where crime rarely happens. Yet police say someone had burglarized eight vehicles forcing their way inside four of them. My car itself is $1,600, which of course the $500 deductible that I have to pay, it just really makes you mad. One of the students here saw someone in her boyfriend's truck she didn't know. And she was just brave enough to go up to him and say, hey, what are you doing? Um, he said that it was his brother's truck and she said, no, it is not. This is my boyfriend's truck. All the while, she was snapping photos of him. He went as far as introducing himself and wanting to shake her hand and gave her all the items he had just taken out of her boyfriend's truck right back to her. Now his picture, as well as the car he left in, is circulating on social media, including the town's Facebook page. Baxter's just happy he left without hurting the teen, though everyone is still afraid. He has my house key. He has my driver's license with my address. I don't wish him any harm. He didn't harm any of us, um, but he, he needs to be caught and stopped. Now, Chapel Hill police say if you find yourself in this situation, never approach the person. They could be armed. We're told the person of interest drove away in a blue Hyundai accent. If you see this man, give police a call at 931-703-7637. Back to you guys. Wow. What a